it was very, very tricky. He had a hard head. He was extremely tough. Hats off to him. Yeah, very impressed. He just, every time I heard him, he just kind of like just sucked it up and just pushed through. And it's a real man. That's a real man. Did you feel you were close to finishing it? Sort of a couple times. Yeah. yeah, a couple times. And then he just recovered and he just endured with, with it. He found, uh, found a good way of like kind of like holding on to me for, for a bit and getting his breath back and then, yeah. What was turbulent to you? Just work the body, work the body. I kept working in the body. I could hear like the little grunts when we were in close as I'm hitting him in the body. I was like, oh, okay, I got him, I got him. He's hurt, he's hurt. Then we keep, I keep punching and he just recovers. Like, Damn. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, hats off to him. Um, really impressed with Danilo. I knew that he'd be tough. I knew that he's going to be tricky. And he definitely was. It's good to go the distance again. Sixth round. <laughs> no, I was I was fine. I I've copped the worst shots before in my life. I've copped worst shots inspiring. I recover from him quickly. He just had a little bit of a momentum going, and I was just trying to hold on to him. It was at the end of the round, wasn't it? Near the end. Yeah, and I knew I, I could feel it, and I just I just wanted to hold on, kind of um, kind of smother him with that, and not let him be able to throw shots. But he was. He just had a bit of momentum going, and that's maybe where his confidence came from. But I was fine. Yeah, that's the longest you've gone in a fight in terms of the 10 rounds. How do you feel you're in the sort of, so you feel like you had plenty more rounds in towards the end? Yeah. Honestly, honestly, the first two, three rounds, no, first, first four rounds went by very, very slowly. I was thinking. I kept looking up at the in the um, in the corner. And I can see it's only round two. I was like, "Shit, it's been a long fight already." But then the later rounds kind of just flew past, and I felt fine. I actually felt better as the fight went on. Why did those first few rounds feel so slow? <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Boxing is a weird thing. Like I've this is my ninth ninth fight. Every time I step in there, it feels like I'm in a completely new world and. It's completely different to sparring and the first yeah, first little bit you're just trying to adjust. It's weird hitting someone without a headgear and the hardness in the head. Yeah, it's got such small gloves. It takes a little bit of time to adjust, but as I get more fights in the belt in the in the record, I'll get more comfortable with it with it all. It seemed like a fight where you were very calculated, very thought out, and you seemed to like just take the game plan. Sometimes you sit here and go, I make silly mistakes here and there, but it didn't look like that tonight. I thought I did pretty shit with some stuff, some of the stuff that I wanted to do. I didn't manage distance the way that we practiced, but that's life. You live, you learn. I've got some, some studying of myself to do, some improvements to make. Is there a moment that really surprised you about, like the, where he stood up to something? I think it was like a, one of the counter lefts, like slipped left and hit, hit him over the top. I was because he came at me and I landed a flush. I was just surprised that he was just still holding on. Yeah, even like some of the shots where we were in close, and I come with my lead hook, hit lead uppercut, and kind of loop around. Mm -hmm. I was surprised that he was able able to just hold on to that because that's a punch you don't really see. No, that was a nice shot. I've never even practiced that before. That just came to me in the moment. <laughs> I feel like a bit of like a matrix kind of like. Whoosh. We'll get that one on the highlight reel. That was, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was nice pretty cool. Prof, Landed a couple of times as well. There's been heaps of names mentioned. It's a pretty stacked division in Australia. I hope you can answer this as well. What's, what's the next direction? Well, look, I, I think for us, we had some, some uh, people sitting in front row watching Nikita perform tonight. And, um, you know, Carl Mazzutia had a few words with Nikita on his way out of the ring. And Brock Jarvis was obviously seen there. Brock's had a lot to say um, leading up to Nikita's fight. You know, Brock's looking at coming into the, the super welterweight division, uh, making it even more stacked than what it already was. 
Um, but I, I think there's a real energy there with, with Carl Mazzutia as well. So uh, it's great that, that those fights are sitting there. So um, we'll, we'll recover, we'll set a date, and we'll set an opponent, and we'll make sure we invite you along mm. to hear it firsthand. Yeah, I like, I like Colin as a guy, and great to fight him. Great to get it going. We're meant to fight in the amateur days, so it'd be cool to finally get it going. What, what do you say to you after? Uh, I think along the lines of let's get it going or something like that. That's basically the same thing back. Whenever, whenever we're both ready, we'll do it. It's not, it's not if, it's when. Mm. How long do you think you can, uh, before you come back? I don't know. I've got some, I've got some injuries I've got to kind of fix up beforehand. <laughs> My left knuckle hurts from his head. <laughs> I've got to check that out. It's been hurting since Brubaker, so... You need to get some MRIs. Him a lot too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, great question. I, I, personally, <laughs> <Don't> knock <laughs> no, 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 no. And do you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Just a thought. Well, let's see who, who gets the most clicks. Most clicks. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking. I was thinking that as I'm going out, I was like, oh, there's, a no, there's been no knockdowns, no, yeah. no knockouts. Like, oh, I got this in the bag. Yeah. Look, <laughs> I turned around, I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely cursed. Every time I've done it, we haven't been able to get the knockout. But I think if we're talking performances, um, early on, I, th I thought Jazzy Parr put on a great performance. Mateo stepped in the ring and I thought that was a great fight, a really high-level, world-class fight. And I thought um, Nikita's was also a, a world-class fight. Um, so if I, I was gonna, if I was going to look at who deserves it, I, I'd probably split it between uh, Mateo and, and Nikita. Yeah, let's split it. Yeah. Huh? And whatever's yeah. left over can oh, go yeah. to the, the media. Well, good for everyone. <laughs> yeah, I also just want to thank my sponsors. Um, they're they're the ones helping me get through all this. They help me train day day in day out, not have to have a nine to five job. And I just want to say I appreciate you guys. Glenn's, Glenn's got all of them on the on the shirt. The little twelve as well. I've seen them enough. They're on plenty of shirts. You said you wanted an early night to go get some pizza. You did ten rounds, so uh, it was still. No, no pizza shop shut, bro. Right? Yeah, what's the time? Midnight. Oh sh. Fuck. Yeah, it's kebabs it's at this hour. Spewing. Well, I got I, I got some wood at home and some meat, so maybe I'll just go cook a barbecue at home. Never too late for a barbecue. Sorry, neighbours. Mm-hmm. <laughs>